Good morning. This is Don V with Truth Be Told. Welcome to my channel. Uh, please uh, remember to subscribe and please thumbs up for me. Really help me out. Without ado, let's go ahead and move to an exciting report that we have for you on breaking news. It says, Tribunal, Military Tribunal convicts Bill Clinton. Office of Military Commissions on Tuesday convicted former Pres William Jefferson Clinton on charges of treason, child trafficking, but sentenced him, sentenced him to life in prison instead of death after he threw himself on the mercy of the court in a tearful collapse. The three officers serving as both judge and jury rendered a verdict in less than two hours into the proceedings as Vice Admin John G. Hannock Prosecuting Jag's case provided evidence of Clinton's participation in parties and of his many visits to Epstein Island where he and convicted pedophile Jeffrey Epstein had taken part in drug-fueled parties with underage children. Many of those children, Vice Admin Hannock told the panel, were victims of child trafficking ring that Bill and his now-deceased wife had orchestrated during Clinton's presidency. It eventually blossomed into a uh, looks like a billion dollar a year industry in which the Clintons and their friends either profited from or partook in criminal lascivious behavior. Vice Admin Hannock showed the tribunal transition records proving that minors often runaways and orphans were routinely flown on charter jets to Epstein Island and other secret locations including the Clintons majestic three million dollar mansion on Whitehaven Street in Washington DC. Innocent children were coming and going from that home, and no one said a word. No one said a word because Bill Clinton controlled everything, since all his pals were involved. No one talked back then, as talking would have implicated them or got them killed. Make no mistake, the Clintons' killing was easy as breathing. Bill Clinton, a uh, rapist, murderer, traitor, had limitless power to engage in representative, reprehensive crimes, Vice Admin Hannock said. Allegedly, allegedly. As he spoke, Clinton's attorney, David E. Kendall, continued his courtroom theatrics, accusing the tribunal of malicious prosecution and showcasing filmsy, flimsy evidence. With uh, deference to the commission, my client never visited Epstein Island. Yes, his name appears on multiple flight manifests, but not in his handwriting. He never, uh, anyone. And all those women claiming as he did were just seeking a moment of fame in the limelight. My client, client, a former pres of the U.S., should be shown all the respect of a man having held his position, Kendall said. Vice Admin Hannock responded to the, by producing a dozen images, which he showed the tribunal, that clearly showed Bill, Jeffrey Epstein, and Chris Lane Maxwell engaging in uh, physical activity with underage boys and girls. We obtained these photographs courtesy of Ghislaine Maxwell, Vice Admin Hannock said, and we have many more. She rolled on me, Clinton blurted. Indeed she has. She told us how, after molesting, you would openly threaten to kill them and frighten them out of their minds. Then strap them down to gurneys and draw blood to convert into, can't say that word, concoction you people seem to love so much. She told us how you had uh, erectile... Uh, problems and that chronic use of conventional ED meds eventually made them useless. But you knew, but you got newfound vim and vigor from that word, Vice Admin Hannock said. Kendall object, objected, citing hearsay. Before he could finish his objection, Vice Admin Hannock maneuvered to a laptop at the prosecutor's table and rapped on the keys. A moment later, face of is Lane Maxwell, live via Zoom call from her G 6 by 9 foot holding cell in New York prison, appeared on screen. She collaborated with the prosecution's arguments, claiming she had personally witnessed Clinton having a SE with 23 different minors between 95 and 16. In either a transformative moment or a ploy, Clinton suddenly broke down in tears. He asked the tribunal for a moment to confer privately with his lawyer. And Vice Admin Hannock put the tribunal on recess for 15 minutes. Afterward, Kendall addressed the court. William Jefferson Clinton 
committed the most egregious crimes known to man. He is truly remorseful and regrets his crimes. He accepts full accountability. He stipulates uh, to, all, uh, to all charges and asks to be spared capital punishment. He's 74 years old and in poor health, has one foot in the grave already. His only child has been left motherless. Should she be left fatherless too? That only child will be here soon enough, Vice Admin. Or, Hannock interjected. Death for my client would be swift and merciful punishment. If you don't feel he deserves mercy, then spending whatever life he has left in prison would be more fitting punishment. He throws himself on the mercy of this tribunal in making that decision. Kendall finished. Were it up to me personally, I'd show him no mercy, but it is these officers who must decide, Vice Admin Hannock said. The officers charged with deciding Clinton's fate spent an hour in private deliberation, and after which they unanimously agreed that Clinton would spend the last years of his life at Gitmo's Camp Delta, there to ensure, endure the same treatments afforded the Islamic jihadists who once had inhabited the gruesome dwelling. And this, as you can see, is on the Red Paper News. And we'll come over here. And it says, Military Tribunal convicts Bill Clinton. It's on Trust the, and the 17th letter of the alphabet.com. Over here, it's uh, best new news here. Military Tribunal convicts Bill Clinton. And last but not least, real raw news. Military Tribunal convicts Bill Clinton. Interesting, interesting. Well, that's a lot of alle alleged information there. I certainly hope it's true that these people are finally getting their just deserve. At any rate, this is Don V with Truth Be Told, and we are out of here.